I know you're going to dig this. Welcome to fabulous Las Vegas. That's what the sign says, right? Yeah, I had to reread it. Just in case I forgot. Fabulous Las Vegas, Nevada. Airport right across from you. Busy thoroughfare. This is going in to Las Vegas, right up this street. Look. That's a strip right there. People don't realize though that Vegas is actually like a booming city. It stretch the suburbs stretch out. People live here. It's not just a tourist destination. I think a lot of people forget that sometimes that it's it's an actual city. There's, it stretches on for, I don't, I don't know how big it is, but it's pretty big. There's a lot of Walmarts and Targets and Lowe's. So there's stuff like that. Look across the street here. It's the airport right there. Fly in, check in, gamble, lose, fly home. Congratulations. Welcome to the rest of your life. Look behind me. There's Elvis. Did you see him? I'm gonna take you to a filming location from Viva Las Vegas right now. That's where we're going. Okay? That's where we're headed. It's right over here. Now there's someone else that yeah, I was gonna say, yeah, like I have a couple friends here and they live and work here, and you don't think that. It's weird, you don't think of Vegas as a place where people live and work. You think it's just you come here and you play and you leave. Nope. It's, uh, it's a booming little town. And there's lots of stuff about the Vegas Golden Knights, the hockey team. And it's weird, they went really far in the playoffs last year. But it's weird that they have a team and Vegas has a team out here in the desert and Quebec doesn't uh, have a second hockey team. Ontario has two. Toronto should have two hockey teams, pretty much based on the size and, and the demand. But I'm not here to talk about hockey, I'm here to talk about Elvis, but I'm a huge Leafs fan. So I have a very visceral reaction whenever I see, like I'm a huge hockey fan and a huge Leafs fan. So like huge. So whenever I see anything about any other NHL team, hockey team, I have a very, like I said, visceral reaction and I get shaky and angry. I love Las Vegas, but I don't like your hockey team. I'm sorry. I don't like any other hockey team except the Leafs. So I just get very, uh, I don't care about any other sport except hockey. Yeah, it's very weird. I get very angry. I'm gonna say, no, they're no, they're, but anyway, anyway, the Leafs are gonna do amazing this year. They're gonna win the Stanley Cup, so I'm happy about that. Let's go to a wedding chapel from Viva Las Vegas. Go Leafs, go. So, here we are, the little chapel of the West. Is that what it's called? Why do I always forget the, you know what? I've got so many things going on in my brain. Like where I'm going to these places that I just, I instantly, for, I, I don't know. I don't know. Let's take a look at the sign so I can remind myself. I know a lot about this place though. Don't worry. I just forgot the name. Yeah, Little Chapel of the West. See, I told you. Don't argue with me. I'm not arguing with you. I'm just correcting you. No, you're arguing. <sighs> so here I am at the Little Chapel of the West. A ceremony is going on. I'm outside of it right now. I was just inside talking to uh, the girls at work here. Lauren, Laura, and oh, the other lady's name. I can't remember your name. I'm so sorry. You were so sweet. All three of you, so nice. You told me to wander around, take my pictures and stuff. And that's what I'm doing. Elvis, Viva Las Vegas, here. Now this building, 
This is the third location of it. It's been moved three times, but it's on the National Registry of Historic Places. It's the oldest building on the Strip. This is the tail end of the Strip that I'm at. That Las Vegas sign right down there. Noel Gallagher from Oasis was married here. Angelina Jolie and Billy Bob married here. Ian Asbury from the cult married here. Elvis Presley and Anne Margaret in the movie Viva Las Vegas married here in the movie. Who else was married here? There's a lot. Mickey Rooney. Mr. Rooney married here. All right. Now, the, there's a ceremony about to start again, but they told me I could, it's, and I believe they, it's locked up because there's cameras inside, which is cool, but you can see it perfectly. Look here. Robert Goulet. That's who I was thinking about. Bob Geldof and Polly Yates married here. Wait, who else? There's somebody else now I'm thinking about. Jody Sweeten. Who's Jody Sweeten? She's from Full House. She was married here. Dudley Moore. Did I say Red Fox? Again. Yes, I did. Buck Owens. Betty Gr uh, Grable. The dude that is uh, Jimmy Kimmel's band leader. What's his name? Jimmy Kimmel's band leader. Why can't I remember that? Ah, well, he was married here and Jimmy Kimmel was inside. I think he was the best man. I can't think of anyone else. Did I say Red Fox? I said Red Fox. How much fun is it to say Red Fox? Say it. Did you say it? Red Fox. Gorgeous grounds. The sun is setting. Oh boy. There goes the ceremony into the chapel right now. The wedding party, the ceremony is gonna take place inside. You know what I meant. Do a courtyard in the back, beautiful fountain. Oh, it's a little garden of the west. If you wanna come and visit, it's at the south end of the strip, like I said, go to the chapel office first. And Ferris is the name of the other girl that was here. And she's really sweet. They're all very sweet. Uh, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah, I asked them about if people, if they're drunk, do they still get married here? They said it doesn't really happen a lot here. This is more of a place where people come and have it planned out because downtown Las Vegas is where you have to go to get your marriage license is that way, like far, closer to the other chapels where it's easier. Like if you're drunk, you just go boom, boom, get married. Here you have to come all the way back down here. So people kind of plan this out a little more. So this is a classy place. It's cool, it's funky, it's history. Like I said, it's the oldest building on the strip. And Elvis was inside that building. He has since left the building and the earth, but he's still here. And he was once inside there. Elvis, I'm sorry, I can't ever not do that. Cars parked out here. Take a look. There you go. An eerie silence has settled now as the sun is going down in Vegas. Huh. Hmm. Huh. All right, that's it. I'm out. I gotta go and film some more stuff. But I want to get this for you. For you. Oh, Sharon Presley. One of my big Elvis fans that watches. Hope you enjoyed this. Uh, a few Elvis fans that watch my channel. So I hope you enjoyed this. Look at the Little Chapel of the West. Viva. 
Viva. Viva. Viva. I can't say it without doing that. Aviva, a Las Vegas. All right, that's it. Cut, out, peace, out. Okay, bye. Oh, and as I drive out, you're welcome, Mom, because you're a big Elvis fan. I know you want to see this. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, I thought church bells were ringing. I don't know. There we go, look at that. Congratulations. Welcome to the rest of your life.